Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my minimal makeup routine and this is how I do my makeup on days when I don't want to be wearing makeup but I have something to do where I need to look a little more polished so I have to put something on my face. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to get my minimal makeup look. So the first product I'm going to use for this minimal makeup look is a BB cushion and this is the Laneige BB cushion um, which has broad spectrum SPF 50 and I have mine in the shade Fair. And I got this at Target but um, any cushion will do that you can find and you've all seen cushion foundations before it looks like this and you get the little pad where you just press it into the cushion and product comes out and then you push it into the skin and I find that this just totally covers up my blemishes well not totally but kind of conceals my blemishes a little bit without making it look like I have cakey foundation on so this is really nice for those days when I don't feel like caking on the thick liquid foundation but I do want to cover the redness and blemishes and look more polished so I'm just gonna keep pushing this in all over the face just to get like a little tiny bit of coverage to make me look a little bit more even, particularly on like the nose and on these areas where I have blemishes because that's really where my redness and discoloration shows through. So I wanna make sure I hit those areas for sure. So that's it for the BB cushion. As you can see, it just gives a really light layer all over the face, nothing too heavy. It just kind of conceals blemishes and discoloration and evens out the look of the skin without being too cakey. And I would not recommend this product if you have oily skin. In the dead of summer, I would definitely never use this because I'm just too greasy. But right now it's getting a lot colder where I live, so my skin's a little drier and this is holding up on the skin a lot more. But if you have dry skin, a BB cushion like this is a great thing to use. And if you have like more perfect skin, that doesn't have a lot of blemishes like me this is a great just kind of everyday base where you want to just kind of um, even out the whole face but not give a bunch of cakey coverage that you don't need so again I really like this and it was at Target it's fairly inexpensive moving on to concealer I'm going to use another kind of no makeup light concealer and this is the Glossier stretch concealer and I have mine in the shade light so I'm just gonna take this on my middle finger get a little bit and kind of swipe this under the eyes and normally with concealers I'm kind of dabbing in like this and making sure I get a lot of coverage but with this because it's such a creamy like moisturizing formula you really have to kind of drag it along the eye or else it will just totally crease up and cake on too much so this is really just a light coverage nothing too crazy I'll just take any excess up onto the lid to kind of even that out but as you can see, like it just ever so slightly covers any dark circles. It's, it looks a little better than this side, as you can tell, but nothing like crazy. It's not like a huge brightening under eye concealer. So again, this is just totally minimal makeup for when you don't want to cake a lot on, but you just want to look a little more polished. Concealer is on. And then just to finish off the base, I'm going to use a little bit of a um, stick highlighter. And this is the Marc Jacobs Spotlight Glow Stick. And this is just like the deodorant looking thing that's very um, wet and dewy looking. So I'm going to take this also on my finger and just get a little bit and tap this on the tops of the cheekbone. And this just makes you look healthier and glowier, kind of bring back, brings back any glow that you might've masked with the BB cushion and I think this just gives a really lovely look to the skin. Normally if I'm going for an intense highlight look I would take this on a damp beauty blender but we're going for a really minimal look today so just applying it with the fingertip will give you a nice even or not even a nice light coverage of this so it won't be too intense like a beaming highlight it'll just be really subtle and minimal but still make you look a little healthier and more glowy. Hopefully that highlights showing up on camera just a little bit so you can see how it gives you kind of like a healthy dewy glow. And then I'm just gonna take any excess on my finger and also swipe that on the eyelids. It can't hurt. And my eyelids get really greasy so they crease throughout the day so I don't put any additional product there because if I get too much on, they'll definitely just crease and look like a hot mess if I'm not priming and setting them with a the powder. So just any extra kind of dab on there. And then I'm going to move on to the final few products and I'm going to do brows and mascara. So for brows, I'm going to take my Clinique Super Fine Liner for brows, and I'm just going to fill in the brows because I think even with a minimal makeup look, having a nice structured, polished brow really just completes the look and makes you look much more polished. And that was nothing too heavy on the brows, so I'm just going to set them with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just so I make sure that they don't get too strong by setting them with a tinted brow gel. This is just going to kind of lighten them up a bit and keep them in place. So again, they look nice and refined and polished throughout the day but not too strong and like you put a lot of effort into them 
And then I just want to show one more additional step in case you have oily skin and something that I'm going to do today because I have oily skin and I want this to kind of stay longer throughout the day. I'm just going to set really lightly with a light powder. Any translucent powder you have or powder that you really like is the best one to go for. This is my favorite at the moment. It's the Osmosis Color Mineral Pressed Base in Fair. I'm just taking this with a large fluffy brush and this really doesn't add like too much more coverage. But I'm just going to take this underneath um, my highlight on my cheeks and then on my forehead, my chin, and my nose just to kind of set everything and keep it from getting super greasy throughout the day, but I hardly did any. Like that's all I'm gonna do. Putting the brush down, putting the powder away, nothing crazy, just a little bit to kind of keep the oils from totally peeking through throughout the day. And finally for eyes, I'm gonna go in with mascara. The one I have at the moment is this Estee Edit, the edgiest mascara, the double-ended one. So I'm kind of gonna go crazy with a lot of mascara just on my top lashes, not on the bottom lashes, because I think when you're going for minimal makeup, if you put it on the top and bottom, that kind of immediately makes it look a little bit like a more involved makeup look, but if you just have it on the top, it just kind of looks like you have naturally lush lashes. So I'm gonna do this and apply several coats so I get a nice dark defined lash, and this will kind of be the focal point of the whole look. Okay, the face is mostly done. The only thing left is lips. And I just wanted to mention really quickly that this concealer really does crease, but I like it because it doesn't cake on and have kind of like a blunt edge. It just kind of blends in seamlessly into the skin. And I don't have a problem when I'm wearing this kind of minimal makeup with my concealer creasing a little bit. I just kind of tap it out throughout the day. It tends to be my eyelids and my under eyes that crease and I just kind of keep going over it with my finger throughout the day. And you can even carry the concealer around with you in case you know a spot pops through or you wanna like add a little bit more coverage under the eyes throughout the day. But moving on to lips, I wanna show you guys a few options for lips that I think go really well with the minimal makeup look. The first one is of course Glossier. This is um, the Generation G in Like, and mine's broken on the inside so I won't open it, but something like this is really nice if you tend to go for a stronger lip look every day, like if you're one of those people that rocks a red lip and you want something with a little bit more color. Something like this is really great to put on with your minimal makeup because it still kind of stays true to the look that you typically wear. And if you're looking for um, something a little more subtle than the L'Oreal Nude Bombs, I have mine in this shade 318 Heavenly Berry. This is like absolutely beautiful. These are just like a really, really super sheer kind of tinted bomb. And I think these are really effortless, really beautiful if you want just a little tint of coverage or a tint of color throughout the day to kind of make you have that like just bitten berry lip on your looks, on your lips. And if you're going for something a little more bougie, then the By Terry Bomb de Rose is absolutely beautiful. This is a classic product, and this is just like if you're feeling really luxurious, something like this would be beautiful for a no makeup look. But for today, I'm going to use something that's true to kind of the look that I do every day, which tends to be a nude glossy lip, and I'm gonna use the Glossier birthdaybomb.com and this is just a clear lip balm, but it has like a little bits of glitter in it, so it really makes the lips look shiny and moisturized throughout the day. So I really like this and that's what I'm gonna go for on my lips today. And that's it for this minimal makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this very minimal look that only uses a few products but really makes you look a little bit more polished and refined on those days when you just don't feel like caking on a bunch of makeup. So this is my go-to look for the minimal kind of days. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. As always, all the products that I used will be listed down below. And please subscribe if you're new so you don't miss my next video. And thank you so much for watching.